In this video, I'll talk about how to lay out your photo gallery using figures and flex box. As you can see, this is the end result. That when it reaches 700 pixels, the pictures will enlarge and fill up around 80% of the browser. So let's go and see how we can do this one. I'm in my brackets. The first thing I want to do is to set up a section. Inside the section, I will have five figures. The figure element will start with figure. Inside the figure, you can have anything you want, but usually you will put an image inside the figure. And underneath the figure, you have a fit caption. Now the fit caption, we usually put it underneath an image, but you can put it above the image. You can do whatever you want. So this is the basic setup of a figure. Inside the image, I'm going to use some online image placeholder. I'll give a width of 200 and a height of 300. Save. Now in the browser, you see this is the picture. I'm going to copy this four times. Maybe I'll give it one more. So I have a total one two, three, four, five, six figure. I'm going to change the numbers. Save, refresh. Now see all my pictures are right here. The HTML actually is all done. Now it's time for the CSS. I'm going to type style, tab. I'm going to start the HTML first. Box sizing, border box. I'm going to use an asterisk, which is the universal selector, and also box sizing. This time I'm going to use inherit, that means inheriting from the HTML. I'm going to take out all the padding and all the margin. Housekeeping is done. Next, I'm going to start the section. I'm going to give a width of 85%. That means 85% of the browser. The margin of 50 pixels, top and bottom, auto on left and right. And also give a padding of 50 pixels and top and bottom. However, I'm looking at five VW. VW, that means viewport width, save. So in my browser, you see that there's, there's a 50 pixels from the top and also I have a 50 pixels padding at the top of my section. In order to make all these pictures lie up side by side, I'm going to use flex this time. So display flex, save. Now wait, wait, just by using display flex, you see all my pictures lie up side by side. Now I want to give some space between each figure. I'm going to give a justified content. I have five options. This time I'm going to choose space around. That means space out each figure. Now see that? You space, space out each figure. 
personal working yet when I am decreasing the width of my browser. So the next one I have to do is call flex web. I'll say web. That means when the browser is not wide enough to accommodate all the figures, it will wrap the figures to a second row. Now you see all the figures are on one row. And when I decrease the width of my browser, then the figures will automatically wrap to another row. But that's not enough margins here. So I'm coming back to my CSS and style the figure. I will give a new margin, 20 pixels at the top and bottom, 10 pixels on the left and right. So right away, you see all the margins. So when I squeeze the browser, you see all the margins between the figures. Now it's time to do the fit caption. I'm going to put some text inside the fit caption. So I'll say photo, description. I'm going to copy this and put it inside each fit caption. Save. I refresh my browser. Now see the fit caption underneath each picture. So this is time to style the fit caption. I'm going to increase the font size to 20 pixels. Text align. Center. Background. Plank to zero B to eight A. Save. Now you see my fit captions right here. You see there's not enough space at the top and bottom of the fit caption. And there's a white gap between the picture and then the fit caption. So I'm back to my CSS. I'm going to give a padding. Five pixels, top and bottom, seal on the left and right, and also margin, top, minus four pixels. So that looks beautiful. Next, when I mouse over, I want the pictures inside the fit caption to scale up by 10%. So what I'm going to do is go back to my figure, image hover I'll do a transform scale 1.1 1 .1, that means 10 percent refresh now I see the image is scaling but it's covering up the fit caption and it's not inside the figure so I have to go back to the figure and give an overflow hidden that will solve the problem. I don't like the way that it's working right now because it's covering up the description. The way to solve this problem is to give a transform origin. So back to my CSS, transform origin. Of course, it's center. For the X at bottom for the Y. See the pictures are enlarging to the top and it's using the center bottom point as a transform origin. I'm going to change the width of my browser, see how it works. So it's working very good. Only right around here. I want the picture to enlarge, kind of fill up the whole width of my browser. So the way to do it is to give a media query. 
which is add media next with 700 pixels. So what would happen if I reach 700 pixels? That's what the media query is all about. But first I have to go back to the figure. I have to give a flex zero one and auto. Now the first zero is the flex growth, that means how large it's going to expand. And the second figure is the shrink. That means how small it's going to shrink. And this is the auto size. Now in my browser, you see that uh, it looks beautiful. But if I come back to my CSS and change the zero to one, let's see what's going to happen. Now see what happened here, you see the fit caption is extending all the way to the right because this is the whole width of the figure. So in order to have the picture fill up the whole figure, I have to come back to my CSS and the figure image with 100% save. Now you see the images are enough to fill up the second row. I don't like the fact that uh, the pictures will enlarge you know, on the second row. So I'm coming back to my CSS and change the flex grow back to zero, save. So all the figures will have the same size, even though it wraps to the second row. When it gets to around 700 pixels, I want the picture to fill up most of the browser. So that's why I have uh, a media. Right here, I will type figure and flex one, one, auto, save. Right away, it's working. Now let's take a look at our final product one more time. So when I mouse over, the pictures will increase 10% inside the figure. When I decrease the width of my browser, the pictures will wrap to the second row. When it get to 700 pixels, it will change to one figure on one row that fill up around 80% of the browser. The last thing to do is to add a transition to the transform. So I'm back to my hover and give a transition, transform, one second is, save. Now this time when I mouse over, the transition is very smooth. So this is how you lay out a photo gallery using figure and flex box.